What's going on, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between? It is I, Neon MUA, and yes, it is time finally to talk about Lunar Retrograde. Mm. Alright, so I'll, I'll, if, if you're on any social media platform, I've been teasing this uh, collaboration with Drench Cosmetics, and today is finally the day to reveal and show you all the loveliness that we have been working on. So, strap in kids and get ready, because here we go. Hi, if it's your first time here, my name is Neon, also known as Darius, also known as Neon Emulate, also known as the makeup peddler. I make videos about makeup and all that good stuff occasionally, because clearly it's been forever since I made a video. But, if you're interested in watching anything that I do, you can go ahead and subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell as well, so that you'll miss next time I upload. And you can also give this video a thumbs up, because why not? We're talking about new makeup, so just go ahead. And without further ado, we're gonna jump right into, and I mean literally right into, the unveiling of Lunar Retrograde, my collaboration with Drench Cosmetics. So, let's go. So if you guys have been following on Instagram, Twitter, that's about it, the only platforms I use. Oh, TikTok, you guys know that I have been teasing a collab with Drench Cosmetics, and here we are to talk about it. This is my second collab with Drench Cosmetics, uh, first being Neon Dreams. And my fourth overall, Josh and I, Josh being the owner of Drench Cosmetics, have been working on this palette for a good four or five months, roughly. So without further ado, dolls, here is Lunar Retrograde. Hi, look at it, it's pretty. Look at it, mm, it's my baby. Before we open it, just wanna share with you guys a little bit of details about this. The concept of Lunar Retrograde, obviously, um, retrogrades exist in reality. We all know this. There's Mercury retrogrades, Venus retrogrades, etc., etc. However, the idea of a lunar retrograde, although not present in our current universe, is present in the universe. So essentially what I wanted to create was a palette that combines fantasy and reality. Long story short, I wanted to create a palette that combines like neutral tones with like Fantasy colors, pastel type colors, metallic shimmers, all the things. So you're gonna see in just a second how adventurous this palette is, while also still being grounded in reality, which I feel like Loki is like my artistic style anyway. A lot of my artistic style is um, avant-garde typish makeup that also finds a realm in like everyday world of glam. So that's what you're gonna get out of this palette. This is a Neon Amy Way palette. You guys ready to see? Here we are with Lunar Retrograde. And, wow, here it is, this is my baby. Ooh, it's just so pretty. Um, there will be pictures up here so you guys can see like high quality, all that good stuff. But yes, this is Lunar Retrograde. I'm so happy that you finally get to see it. And we're gonna go over everything. I'm gonna give you guys um, full blown experience of this palette. So let's jump right into it. So Lunar Retrograde is a 16 pan palette and it is a, like I said, a mixture. If you can't tell already, it's a mixture of neutrals and some pastels, some bright, bold metallic shimmers, chromes, if you will. So the first shade that we have here is Retrograde. Retrograde is a pink shimmery metallic and it has like pink and orange undertones to it. I like the shade a lot. I'm actually wearing it on the eyes. I like the shade a lot because of the fact that when you get pink shimmers like this, a lot of times these shimmers tend to run white. And although it looks blinding on the back of my hand because of the light sitting on it, as you can see on my eyelid is actually a true pink. Um, like I said, certain undertones on the skin can show it as corally. That's perfectly fine, because that's what I wanted. But yeah, I definitely wanted to make sure there was a metallic pink in here that did not run white. That was my main focus, and so I love this shade a lot. The next shade that we have in this palette is Cancer. And Cancer is a powdery blue, seafoam green, matte. What are you gonna see about a lot of the pastel type shades in this palette is that they are soft, However, they can be built up to a lot of color, as you can see in this picture here. I really like the like aqua teal kind of vibes that you get from this shade. And it's obviously named after the Zodiac Zion Cancer, which is ruled by the moon, so there's that. The next shade in this palette, and judging by what you guys have seen in the teaser, is the shade that most of y'all are excited about, is the shade Into the Universe. And Into the Universe is a gunmetal 
silver that also includes blue reflex in it. So it fits well with like the bluer tealless shades that are in this palette. I love this shade a lot. I really do. Like it's one of those chromey metallics, so it has a shift to it. It works really well when you apply it with like a fix and spray or something of that nature, and it just gorgeous, gorgeous. I really do love it. I, that again, one of y'all's favorite shades based on the teaser, and honestly, one of my favorite shades too, to be completely honest. And it it is. Hunter Moon is the next shade in this palette and it is a neutral brown. Um, like I said, this palette has a mix of neutrals and like pastel fantasy colors. So that's why I wanted to include neutrals because to some people, pastels and brighter colors are harder to work with, especially on darker skin. Some people can be afraid of those colors. Those colors can be intimidating at times. I personally love them, but I know that some people find it a little challenging. So I wanted to include neutrals that can help get you into those colors that you can use to like start your base, build up your transition shades, things of that nature. So like I said, Hunter Moon is this brown shade. Ironically, this shade is also very close to my complexion. So I can use this shade in terms of like transition shades. I can also use this shade to buff and erase, if you will, some brighter shades in the palette. It is named after the Hunter Moon, which one of the many moons that we have in our yearly calendar. The Hunter Moon comes up during October. And um, I just wanted to invoke something that gave that like huntery fall vibe. In case you guys didn't know, clearly this palette is inspired by a lot of astronomy and astrology, which is something that both Josh and I are very invested in and very knowledgeable about. So that's why I want to include some like takes to this. You're going to see a lot more coming up. The next shade in this palette is another one of the neutral shades. This shade is Super Moon. And Super Moon is more of a camel brown light tan if you will i have said this time and time and time and time again that i love these like lighter tan beigey shades because of the fact that i can use these to buff out shades in my crease um of course if you're someone with a lighter complexion than me then this can be a shade used for transitioning but if you're someone of my complexion or even richer then you can use this shade to help buff out the edges of your eyeshadow and this shade is named after the occurrence of the moon where the moon is closest to the earth this super moon a lot of times the super moon is actually this color in general the next shade and another personal favorite of mine okay the next shade and another personal favorite of mine is the shade Love to Dream, named after my favorite song off of Doja Cat's album, Love to Dream, Planet Her in stores. But anyway. So, uh. I'm gonna straight up call it a dual chrome because that's what it is. It's a dual chromey metallic. It is one of those dual chromes that shifts from like teal blue, which you can probably see on camera now to a reddish burgundy, which you can see in person. I've always loved these kind of shades and I've always loved these kind of metallics. So I really had to have a, a shade like this in this palette. There was no denying it, it, it just had to be done. Um, this shade actually pairs really well with Into the Universe um, as a base. So if you guys want that extreme high metal do it from even trichrome type feel, you guys can definitely play with Love to Dream with some other shades in this palette. The next shade in this palette is another neutral shade. This shade is Apogee. And if you guys are not aware, Apogee is the point of orbit between two celestial bodies where they are the most separated. So essentially think the opposite of the supermoon. Apogee. Like I said, Apogee is a deep, deep, deep rich chocolate brown of course it's neon anyway i have to have dark rich chocolate browns you you can't introduce neutrals in a palette and not have neutrals that work for everyone so that's why i wanted to include hunter moon super moon and apogee because they work for a wide variety of different reasons for different people if you're someone with a fair complexion like i said super moon and hunter moon could be great my complexion hunter moon super moon even apogee richer complexions hunter moon apogee i just wanted variety i wanted to make sure that everyone was taken care of Regardless if this is not a complexion palette, we still cater to all the dolls, period. And the last shade in the top row, which is no surprise to anyone in this world who follows me and knows my love of color, is the shade Guardian. And Guardian, my friends, is a deep, rich, royal purple. Again, if you know me, do you know a purple is going to be in this palette? This is not the only purple. Purples have to exist in the palette that I agree. I'm just saying. But it's a deep, rich purple. Look at it on my finger. It's so, oh, so pretty. It's a deep, rich purple, fully opaque, 
full of Yuji Auto vibes. Look at this picture, fully opaque. Didn't have to dip into the shade much. It's it's that good. Guardian. I just had to create a deep rich purple. And also a nod to the Sailor Guardians because the moon is a guardian to the earth. Guardian planets, per. I look so good. Oh! Moving on into the bottom row, we are starting with the shade New Moon. And baby, it's easy, it's simple. It's a rich matte black. Of course, if you guys know, then the New Moon is the moon that looks like it's not there, but it's still there. It's blacked out, it's a New Moon. I actually am wearing New Moon on the eye currently, along with some other shades in here, just to use as a deepening mechanism. So again, we have shades for all the dolls. Even if you need something to deepen up shades, I just personally feel like all palettes, especially color palettes, need to have a black and a white to deepen and lighten shades. And you're gonna see that one too. The next shade that we have in this palette is the shade Gravity. Gravity is a deep matte teal which works very well in this like quad cluster of shades, Cancer into the Universe, and then the next shade we're gonna get into. It is a, like I said, a deep, rich, buttery, teal shade. Love it. It works really well with the shade Cancer, especially, and it, it off, honestly, it, it, it's, 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 it's speechless. It can diffuse out some, and I just love the fact that there is bright shades like this. If you guys didn't know, my second favorite color is teal, so, just saying. Speaking of sister shades, which this palette does a lot of sister shades. There's a lot of shades in here that work harmoniously, harmoniously together. <laughs> and like I said, the next shade that works in that lovely cluster of shades we have is Pull the Tide. Pull the Tide is a seafoam metallic shade, very much like Cancer. Um, it definitely gives the same teal vibes of that. It works really well with gravity as well, and it is a fully opaque metallic. Again, I didn't want metallic shades that turn silverish white. I wanted the metallics to truly be metallic, so that's why I love this shade a lot. Put the tide. Mm -hmm. The tide is high, but I'm holding on. The next shade, for all the Steven Universe fans out there, is the shade Hello Starlight. Hello Starlight, you certainly gave everyone a scare. Hello Starlight is a pale white gold, and I mean pale. But there are some white golds that still run a little yellowish gold. This is pale, this is borderline white. But, mm, I love it so much. It is truly just, just a glimmering white gold, and this is gonna be the closest metallic that runs white because it is meant to run. White. Reminds me a lot of White Diamond. That's why it's named Hello Starlight, and I just had to have it. It's, it's really beautiful. This is a great shade to use in the inner corner. This can be layered on top of shades like Pull the Tide, and another shade we have coming up in this palette. But, um, mm, I love her. Like I said, we always have to have a matte black and a matte white. And so the matte white in this palette is called Full Moon. Simple, self explanatory. Full Moon, blinding white. It is a true matte white. Think Taco from Sugar Pill. That's very much the vibe of this. Something I've been really enjoying doing lately has been putting matte white shades in my inner corner instead of shimmers to create the highlighted effect. I'm currently doing it now. Stunning. Like I said, it is a true matte white. You're going to get color payoff from this. This is one of those matte white shades that's soft and powder. This is a true matte white. So you can use this, like I said, to soften out edges, but also pack on white color. The next shade in this palette is also no surprise to anyone who knows me. It is the shade Zenith Hour. Zenith Hour is a pastel lavender. Again, if you know me and if you know Josh, do you know that we love lavender shades? Um, this shade pairs very well with shades like Guardian and it is also fully opaque like Cancer. Um, it is a great pastel lavender shade. The color is there definitely. If you guys didn't know, Zenith Hour, the highest point when an object is above the Earth's orbit. Mainly pertaining to like meteor showers, but can also pertain to other things as well. Get into it. Mm, I, I, lo I, I love the pastels in this palette. Moving on, the next shade that we have is the last metallic shade in this palette. It is the shade multi-dimensional and honestly one of the stranger shades in this palette, but it will make sense. Multi-dimensional is a goldish green but not quite gold green like um trophy wife think softer gold green 
Um, another sister shade to the shade Hello Starlight. That same like white gold vibe, but greenish, if you will. But it also doesn't pull very green. I know I'm saying a lot, but this shade actually works really well. Like I said, with Hello Starlight, it's a great chromey metallic shade. And it's an oddball in this palette, but it works in this palette. I wanted something that sticks out and is definitely like, oh, this is interesting, but still holds ties to this palette. I love using this. Like I said, to work with other metallics in this palette, and it's also great on its own as a full lid shade. It can work as an inner corner shade. Um, it's multi-purpose, multi-dimensional. And then the last shade in this palette is the shade Moonlight. This is the final pastel in this palette, much like Zenith Hour and Cancer. This shade is also a sister shade to Retrograde. So think the matte version, literally is the matte version of Retrograde. It is a soft pink that almost runs a little bit peachy. This is the color that I have on my eyes as well. And stunning, gorgeous. I, again, I just wanted to make sure that I included pastels that could work like most pastels do where they're like softer shades and can be blended into the crease as transitions, but also can work as standalone shades on their own. Also, a nod to Pokemon fans because, wait, is Moon, hold on. Is Moonlight actually a fairy type move? It is, yes, Moonlight is now a fairy type move. I just had to make sure, but yes, this shade is also a nod to Pokemon fans. Josh wouldn't let me put in other Pokemon references in here. All right, you guys, and that is the whole entire palette, my new Lunar Retrograde palette. I am so glad to share this with you guys finally. Again, I have had plenty of collabs before, but I feel like this is the first time that I've been able to fully give you guys the creative experience that I love to give. I, I had to share a palette that shows not only my love for astronomy and astrology, but also shows my love for neutrals as well as pastels, chrome. I, I feel like this is a true Neon MUA palette. And if you know me, then you know it is because there's purples, there's color, there's all the things. So, let's get into the details. When does Lunar Retrograde launch? Well, technically now. Lunar Retrograde is actually now available on the Drench Cosmetics website for pre-order. So you guys can go ahead and scoop that up now. And the palette will officially ship on launch day, which will be February 4th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, you all get ready. If you're still unsure about the palette, there will be plenty of content going around for that. You guys will see plenty of looks at this palette. There's also going to be a giveaway, so just stay mindful of that. So this palette does retail for a price of $40. However, don't freak out because you guys can also use any Drench Cosmetic Affiliate Code, including mine, Neon MUA, and save 15% of your order. So in actuality, the palette is going to be $34. Now that's a steal because when you look at palettes from brands like Sigma Beauty or ABH, you're getting what, 12, 14 shades for $40 at a time, $40, $45 versus mine where you get 16. Just saying. So like I said, 40 bucks, you can use my code Neon Emuay or anybody else's code from Drench and save 15 percent So really a $34 palette, all of this for $34, quality, just saying. So that is it you guys, again, I am so thrilled and so excited to share with you all Lunar Retrograde. I have been really working hard on this and trying to figure out what's going to be best for everyone and so i'm excited to see you guys response i'm excited to see you guys feedback and i can't wait to see you guys try it on because baby versatility quality all the things thank you so much for watching this reveal i truly do appreciate it if you enjoyed it i'm sorry since you enjoyed it do go ahead and give this video a thumbs up it means so much and also subscribe to the channel and hit notification bell as well so that you don't miss the next time that i upload there will also be tutorials on looks from the palette, so you definitely want to make sure that you are subscribed. Also, make sure you guys follow me on all my socials. That is Neon Emmy Way on Instagram, Twitter, um, Snapchat, TikTok, Pinterest, all the things. Um, we will, like I said, be doing a giveaway for this palette, so definitely make sure that you guys are following so you can be entered for any and every giveaway that comes up. Thank you guys again. I truly appreciate it. This is thrilling. I'm, I'm like really excited to share with you guys. I'm always excited about clubs, but I'm excited to share with you guys the creativity and the imagination and the spark that came with this. So, um, until next time, dolls. Woo! Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe, watch more videos, and get ready, because February 4th, oh! Just saying.